Hello, I'm Gio, a network engineer at GeoNet. Today, I'll guide you through the process of connecting GeoNet's RTK system with drones equipped to connect to RTK. I'll be using the DJI Matrice 300 RTK for this demonstration. But keep in mind that GeoNet's RTK data plan is compatible with any and all drones to support RTK connectivity. So yeah, let's connect the drone. Step one, open the DJI Pilot app. Step two, connect the drone to the app and ensure the network connection is normal in the remote controller. Step three, navigate to the camera view. Step four, navigate to the RTK settings, turn on RTK positioning, set the RTK service type to custom, network RTK. Here, you would fill out the GeoNet network's information. Fill out the entry post, port number, username, password, and finally, the mount point. Tap save to link with the server. Step five. The status should show RTK connected and RTK data in use in green. In addition, orientation and positioning will also stay fixed. This confirms the RTK is being used. So now that the drone is all set up with RTK, we're about to showcase its performance through a demonstration. I'll be piloting the drone, first with RTK and then without. The key metric we're focusing on is how accurately and precisely the drone returns home from its initial coordinates gauging the effectiveness of GeoNet's RTK data. Let's take a look at the spot here. It's marked with the drone's starting coordinates. When I summon the drone back home, the goal is for it to land as close as possible to its original position. Quick note before we take flight, during the return journey, I won't be manually controlling the drone anymore. Instead, it will be automatically guided by the software. The first round with RTK and the second without. Let's launch this demonstration. The disparity in deviation between using RTK and not using RTK is notably substantial. Across all five tests, the performance consistently favors RTK usage. With RTK, the deviation range for the x-axis was between 0 and 3 inches, and for the y-axis, it was between 3 and 5 inches. In contrast, without RTK, the variability was significantly wider with the x-axis ranging from 48 inches and the y-axis ranging from 4.5 inches to as high as 69 inches. The disparity in average deviation data with and without RTK is substantial. On the x-axis, the difference is 4.54 inches, while on the y-axis, it reaches as high as 14.56 inches. GeoNet's RTK network undeniably ensures consistency and reliability in RTK performance. RTK technology Integrated into drones offers a wide array of practical applications. One such innovative concept is the drone in a box. Where the drone is required to land precisely in a designated box, very much like what we did today. This setup can serve various purposes, including recharging the drone, delivering groceries, medical supplies, and packages. In addition, precision drone technology are used in mapping, surveying, agricultural practices, construction and infrastructure development, search and rescue operations, as well as film and photography. The ability to execute tasks with GeoNet RTK precision enhances efficiency, safety, and effectiveness across these fields, showcasing the versatility and potential of drone technology in modern industries. I'm eager to learn about your experiences with GeoNet's RTK and drone applications. Please share your insights and applications in the comments below. Your input is greatly appreciated. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more GeoNet content. Until next time, see you soon. Thank you. GeoNet, mind the sky.